Preparing for an SAT, TOEFL, or IELTS exam? Applying for a university abroad? Join one of the exam preparation courses at Skills. For more information about our courses given by native English teachers, call 01 584 234. Marhaba, good morning everybody, welcome to Get Fit. This is Maya Nassar Malouf. Today we're going to do a full body workout and we're only going to need a kettlebell. Yalla and Balish, but na namal sitte tamarin liom. So we're going to do six exercises today. Let's get started and do our first one. We're going to do some squats with some lunges. So all you're going to do is hold your kettlebell in this position, stand with your feet together, step to the right side, squat down, knees behind your toes, step back into a lunge and repeat on the same side. So nidas ayamin. Make sure your knees are always behind your toes when you squat back. So now we're doing the right side. After this, we're going to do the left side. So back, we're training our legs right now. So we're going to do 15 reps on each side. Keep breathing. Step back. If you don't have a kettlebell, just use one dumbbell. If you don't have any dumbbells, Use a heavy water bottle. No excuses not to train with me today. Let's do a couple more on the right and then we're gonna move on to the left side. Yalla, ekhir wahde. And now back. Hala ashmail. So now the same thing on the left side. So step back into a squat. Step back into a lunge. Make sure your knees are always behind your toes. Tir muham. Again, down to the side. Remember, 15 reps. After this, we're going to do an exercise that targets our hamstrings, which are the back of the thighs. Again, let's go for two more. So one, step back. Yalla, ekhir wahde and back. So let's do an exercise called a single leg deadlift. We'll do this facing the mirror. We're gonna train the back of our thighs. All you're gonna do is hold the kettlebell or the dumbbell with one hand, face forward, and come down to the ground and back up. And the same thing, drop down as low as you can. Try to keep your balance. Leza min kalle tawezon ad mafina. Ukemen kam stashur mara kilmaile. So all the way down, back up. It's useful to do this in front of a mirror so you can check your form. It's also a good way to keep your balance. All the way down and up. So today it's a full body workout. Keep breathing, arch your back slightly. It's as if we were doing a traditional deadlift, only we're using one leg. So we're training this part. We're training the back of the thighs. You're really gonna feel the stretch in your hamstrings. All right, let's do the other side. Hala tene mele. So same thing. Let's pass over the kettlebell to the left hand. Arch your back. Come down and up. Remember, try to keep your balance. It's okay if you wobble. That might happen. Just keep going. 15 reps. Hamsta shurmara. Remember, I might not be, be doing 15 reps just because of lack of time. But you guys at home, repeat each exercise three times and go ahead and do 15 reps. Keep breathing. Because I was in the kettlebell, So you'll find different weights for kettlebells. You'll find light, you'll find heavy. Right now I'm using four kilos, so you guys go ahead and carry as heavy as you possibly can. If you're a beginner, use a light weight. If you're more advanced, increase your weight. Let's do one more. All the way down and up. So let's do our back now. So all you, we're gonna do an exercise called single arm row. All we're gonna do is lean forward, place our palm on our thigh, keep that back straight, and raise your elbow up to the side just like that, behind you. So we're training the top part of our shoulders and we're also training our back. Up. Make sure your back is straight. This exercise is called single arm row. 
To see more exercises for the entire body, download my free mobile app. Just search for Start Living Right in your, smart, in your smartphone stores. Fi kot nazlo application tabai. Fi ktir malumet ua ishia an riada o tagzie. Vas facho Start Living Right kilme wahde. Again, all the way back, lower, and all the way up. Let's do the other side now. Hala tene mele. So you should complete this exercise for both both sides. So hand on your palm, palm on your thigh, excuse me. Raise up and back down. And again, elbow back to the side, lower back down and raise from the knee. Keep on breathing, very important. Lezum titnafa so kililwa'it. And raise, let's do a few more. And then next we're gonna do our biceps and our shoulders. Raise, let's do our last one. All right, let's train our biceps now and our shoulders. These are the bicep muscles right here. So stand in place, place your hand on your hip. We're gonna do a biceps curl, bring it down, and then a side raise, just like this. So halam and shagal al adalate biceps, uel ktif. So we're doing our right arm right now. We're doing our right bicep training, our right shoulder. Keep that back straight the whole time, very important. Come down. Ukame and kham stashar mara. So 15 reps. Keep breathing, raise it to the side. You're gonna feel the burn. This exercise is quite challenging. So if you don't have access to a gym, that's not a problem. You guys can do this exercise at home. Let's do the other side, raise and up. Keep your arms straight, keep your back straight. Keep breathing, keep the motivation. It's a quick workout, doesn't take up too much of your time. And remember, exercise should always be a priority in your life. It's not just about the way you look and feel, it's also about your health, being around to watch your grandchildren grow up. Let's do one more. All right, let's do our triceps now. We're gonna need a mat. So we're gonna need to lay down on the ground. If you don't have a mat, use a carpet or a towel. We're gonna train our triceps, which are the muscles at the back of the arm. So lay down flat, halam neem al dahr. Hold, and we're gonna do a lying triceps extension. So bring the kettlebell down to your head, just like this. And keep on breathing. After this, we're gonna do our last exercise. We're gonna train our abs. So it's very important that you do these exercises nice and slow. Don't rush, you wanna feel the burn. So you're really gonna feel the tricep muscles burning. Make sure you keep your elbows still. Bring the kettlebell down to your head, nice and slow. Let's do a couple more, then we're gonna do our abs. Let's go all the way down and up. All right, let's do our abs now. Hala badnan shagal al meade. So everyone always loves abs exercises. We're gonna do an exercise called under the knee passes. So all you're gonna do is pass the kettlebell under your knee like this. Keep breathing. So do as many as you can. I recommend one minute. Keep breathing. All we're doing is we're passing the kettlebell under the knees and extending our legs in front of us. So remember, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, a water bottle. Is a man con dumbbells or kettlebells will be it. Do it without. So this is another variation. Just clap under your legs like this. It is better to use a weight because the weight is more challenging. But if you don't have a weight, you can just use your hands and clap right underneath like this. Keep breathing, and let's do a few more. 
All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for training with me. Don't forget to check out my website, startlivingright.com. You can find me on Instagram, mayanassar underscore fitness. I'm also on Snapchat. Add me by searching for Nassar Maya. Shukran up shufkun taleta seya ashra. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Tuesday at 10 for a new workout.